Alright, so today we drove the 70 miles, went to Harbor Freight, and now we're back. Got up nice and early, got back nice and early. So, we got this uh, Titanium Flux 125 welder, welds super easy, super nice. It's a uh, wire feeder and electric welder. It's going to work really well for what we're using it on. And then we got, you know, a bunch of the welding flex core wire for it. We got, you know, a bunch of electrical tape because that's what we're going to need. Masks, safety glasses, cutting wheels for, you know, angle grinders because we really want to lose some fingers. Uh, all the way to extension cords and... Uh, you know, masks as, masks as well. So, we should be pretty set up to start working on that tunnel when it arrives. So, here we are, episode two. You've already seen the Harbor Freight tools that we got and spent all that money on. So, we got all the headlights, taillights, and engine essentials. So, today we're gonna be tearing down the 6.0. But, first and foremost, let me show you what we got. We got some APR brand head studs and head bolts, because, you know, why not? A summit timing set, AC Delco water pump, a Melling Performance oil pump, as well as I'm pretty sure the cream de la crop. Ugh. Should have set it up better. A Felt Pro gasket set for all the gasket needs of this engine. All right, so here in this big old box right here is the transmission tunnel for the Bel Air. Stab this bitch open a little bit. Drag it on a stick, just randomly up here. Copyright trademark. Is it really? Staples. Joe from me. Staples, not a sponsor. Let's help him. Thanks, man. This That's is how the old guy helps. The foot in the corner is uh, Kyle from Kyle's Garage. I'll give you some calf flexes. Now for the money shot. I don't know if your viewers can see inside that box. <laughs> nice and packed up. All Sorry packed. ladies, that's his money shot. Newly single. That's a big old sheet of metal if I've ever seen one. Slightly bigger than what's in the car. No, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Holy fuck. Nice and made. Reasonably boogery welds. Sniff it. Does it smell good? I don't know, it doesn't really smell. Cool. That means they didn't oil it. Yeah. Don't feel any oil. So yeah, that's his tunnel. This is the new tunnel for the Bel Air. 68 Bel Air. Sweet. It's fucking giant. So, we'll be working on installation and uh, measuring it here shortly. <clears throat> All right, we're back with episode two of the 68 Bel Air build. Today, we're gonna go in depth on the new headlights. Sorry, I had to angle my arm a little bit better. That one has the front thing, fascia. Fascia, bezel. Bezel, bezel, bezel color. on it. And this side does not. So we'll go in depth on that and we'll talk adjusters that we ordered, the headlights themselves, ease of use, as well as we got some in the back to show us, you know. So we'll get into it. Oh, you can see right there, we have some poly Retro brights, they look fantastic. I'm assuming they're gonna perform fantastic. Super easy to install. You just have these little rings that clip on the outside there. And I'll show you a little better on the other side. You have the rings that go around the headlight themselves, as well as a little bit of hardware right in here. 
the hardware does not come with it. It is not necessary for the headlight itself. It just holds it into place. So it's called an adjuster kit. You can find them on Classic Industries. They're like four bucks. They're super nice. It comes with all the screws that you need. It comes with just about everything that you need for it, if I'm being honest. Even the little plastic things right in there that you screw it into. Fantastic. As well as the springs that help retain it and then to be able to tighten and loosen it. This right here, <clears throat> this right here is going to be the connector for the headlight itself. So it comes with pre-installed, but then you have uh, really handy one of those adapters right there. Oh yeah, these fellas there. It plugs right into this, and then from that you just wire it into your system. It comes that easy, that ready to go. Right here we have the tail lights that I ordered off of Classic Industries. They just plug right into the bulbs. They're gonna be LEDs. Super easy, super simple to install. And as long as you can get the old tail lights out anyway. But as you can see, it looks significantly better with some tail lights in it. All right, and so as you can kinda see, we've gone through, we've done new head gaskets, new head studs. A uh, whole bunch of new stuff on the engine. We still have a couple things to do on it, like the rear main seal and then the valley cover gasket. Once we get done with those, the engine should just be about ready to go. But here's the issue that we ran into. And I don't know if it's just us being stupid or what the situation is, but we got the, what's this called? The hub cover gasket. All right, so we got, <laughs> I'm leaving that in. Uh, we got the valve cover and we've taken it off and put it on a couple times. Well, this most recent time that we, that we took it off, we ran into a slight issue. It seems to have stretched about a fifth of what it is and we can't get it to reseat back in there. We've tried putting it in water, the, you know, cooling it down, thermo expansion, etc., etc., but no luck so far. So we're trying to figure that out. We might have to just get a new gasket for it. Isn't the end of the world, but it sucks. Sucks a little bit. But that's just about everything that we've done for episode two. But look at those headlights. Doesn't that just look fantastic? Yeah. But stay tuned. We're gonna be working on the tunnel in episode three. All right, so that wasn't the end of episode episode two, apparently. We pulled my truck around the back and started unloading the trunk a little bit, and there was three 90-pound bags of concrete mix in the back. That's 270 pounds, plus water pump and a bow and a whole bunch of other shit. So we probably took about 300 pounds out of the trunk. And as you can see, It is now significantly more level back here, which is fantastic. But that's another project that we're gonna have to work on is rear end suspension. Stay tuned for that, that's gonna be a ways away. <laughs> We've shown the new headlights, the new tail lights, and a couple other things, which isn't a whole lot. Not really sure why it's a full episode, but that's what we're gonna do with it because the next episode, what we're gonna do is start cutting out the transmission and our transmission tunnel and start putting the new one in but until that point i cleaned out the trunk and i found original chevy paperwork Let's see if we can find anything good in here this right here Owner's certificate of registration was... So it looks like it was either purchased late 67 and looks like it is a one or two owner car in the entirety of its run. 
I would be the third owner, which is pretty sweet for a car this old. But yeah, it's been a Montana car this entire life. And it has a lot of formal paperwork with it. And it had over 100,000 miles on it. That's for goddamn sure. All right. Next episode, the tunnel.